So on this video, we're going to show you how to work in Brady Workstation software um, using the Custom Designer app to design a racking label, but using some data pulled in from an Excel spreadsheet to print lots of racking labels off together. So we select Custom Designer. Just give the software a second to open up. First thing you do is set your printer model. So we select from the list. I'm going to use an S3000. I don't have the printer connected, so if it's a smart printer, the S3000. If it was connected, you would click on installed to get the, the label type that you're working with. Um, I don't have the printer connected, so we can either look at recent labels, or if you would, wanted to search for a, a Brady label reference, you would do search by name, and then in here you would start typing your reference. So Brady 30C is the one I'm going to use, 2250. But you type your label type in there, so you wouldn't necessarily type B30C if you were looking for a THT-17- whatever. Um, I'll select that part, that's what I want to work with, create. And that gives us our blank label, which is showing up here. Now to pull in the data from the spreadsheet, we click advanced import. And then these are the different types of file that you can work with. We're working with a spreadsheet. And then I'm going off onto the desktop I'm going to look at that warehouse sample data, just a simple spreadsheet. Click here. And then you could work with a different sheet on the spreadsheet if you have multiple sheets. So basically here you're just browsing through your data. Um, we've got some headers in the spreadsheet, so we leave that ticked. First row is a column header, so our data starts on the, the second row basically. Um, then you click next. There's an option here to filter and sort. Um, so you could untick some of the data if you just wanted to, to pull in certain rows and not all rows. I'm going to work with all the rows. There's only 15 rows in my spreadsheet, so I click finish. So we're now ready to start pulling the data onto the label. So for each of these, you can pull either column in or both columns in. But basically, I'm going to tell you that I want to pull a column in as a barcode. So that's important. So you either pull the, the data in as text or as, as a barcode. I want to pull in location, so I click and drag that up onto the label. And when I release it, it drops that onto the label there. Um, and then we can work with it up here. Now, the text is separate from the, the barcode, so we can handle each of those separately. To increase the size of the barcode, you can just click and drag the different nodes. Um, we're not far off there now, so that's that's kind of looking like a racking label. The last thing we want to add is, is an arrow. So we'll do that by clicking on insert a graphic. So we do graphics, drag a box out, and that jumps us into graphics. Um, your recent graphics are here, but the full range of categories is shown here. So this is where you get safety signs, symbols and stuff. But if we want to look in, look in arrows, you click on the arrow that we want to put that up or down so it's currently facing right so to, to change the, the rotation you do arrange and then there's the rotating op options there so you do rotate through 90 degrees or 270 for, a, for an up arrow so 90 degrees would give us a down arrow 270 gives us an up arrow and then you click off it and that's our, that's our label we can click and drag that where we want it we can resize it now, the other thing we need to do with the arrow is at the moment, the arrow is only on the first label. And we can see that if we go to print, it will show us here. And if we zoom out, it shows us our different labels. And you can see that we've only got the arrow on the first label. There's no arrow on the second label or the third label or the fourth label. So we don't want to print that yet. So we click back to label. To get the arrow on all labels, we click the arrow and then we do create copies. And then we tell it here to duplicate and to add to all labels automatically and click OK. And now when we go to print, we can set the, um, the printer correctly. Make sure that you're printing to the correct printer. Um, so that way you select your Brady printer there. But basically now we can see that the, the arrows are on all labels. Um, and then when you print, you can print everything. It, it's worth... It's certainly if you've just designed the label, click on range and then print the first three as an example. So start at one, end at three. So you're doing that before you get to a point of sort of printing a thousand labels. So print those three. Uh, I've got the printer connected, so I can't print, but that's basically how you put the label together. 
Um, we have a separate video uh, up on YouTube for how you would just create a, a sequence rather than pulling data in from a spreadsheet. If you need any help with um, purchasing licenses for the Brady software or any other assistance, our contact details are coming up now. Uh, thanks for watching.